What's happening, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you how to do a time lapse on the G7X Mark II. Yeah! Before we get started with the time lapse, there's a couple things you need to do. One, have a charge battery. Two, you want to make sure you have a good sized memory card. Not, it doesn't need to be this big, maybe 16 gigs. Another thing you're going to want to have is a tripod. You could have a full size tripod. I like, kind of like this tripod because you can put it on anything and it will grip to its environment. Now we have all set it up, let's turn it on. First we're going to turn the dials to the camera button. It looks like a little camera button right there. Now that we have changed the video mode, there's two ways to get to the time lapse area. One way is we can press this Q button right here go to the top left corner and you see at the bottom there's scrolling we're gonna go to the one that looks like a dial like a clock with a camera now we're in time last movie mode the second way you can get there is actually go into the top left corner tap in that icon and you can actually switch your modes let's go back to time lapse okay what you can notice while in time-lapse mode is that some of your settings are grayed out and you're not able to change them. So for the ones that you can change, you set that at raw, self timer usually to nothing or two if you're going to be shaking a little bit in the beginning for the first shot, ND filter depending on if it's bright or if it's pretty dark, you should turn your ND filter off. Your auto white balance, or oh, I set the white balance to auto. Your picture style, which is set to auto currently. Now on to the good stuff. Setting up your time lapse. Tap this bottom left corner. So it's gonna be three different shooting scenes. Let's go through them real quick. Scene one, is so shooting movie subjects, such as walking people. Scene two, shooting slowly changing subjects, such as clouds. And scene three, shooting slowly changing scenes. So I'm usually gonna go with two because I like clouds. Now, next you can choose your intervals. It says how many shots you want. So let's click on that. So within each scene, you're gonna notice that the intervals are different. So this is scene two. Let's go back and I'll show you what scene one in terms of the intervals are gonna be. Let's scene one, okay. It's going to say set number of shots from one to four. So the intervals are preset for the best optimized settings for what kind of scene you want. What's nice about this camera and the sensor being fairly new is that the auto exposure for each shot is actually pretty good. And then when it all comes together, it's actually very nice per shot. Now the last setting here is review image. I disable this so that I'm not seeing the picture and it's not wasting battery as I'm taking a time lapse. So here at the bottom, it tells you time required, 12 minutes, playback time at 24 frames a second, it's going to be 12 seconds. You want to frame your shot, make sure everything's in focus, and then press the magic red button. And there goes your time lapse. To know that your time lapse is running, let's push this back a little bit you'll see a green blinking dot here in the bottom right that tells you that the time lapse is going. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you. If you like this video and it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me being weird, click that subscribe button. It's Greg here. Thanks again for watching.